What's up guys, Nolan here and welcome to Customs. The goal of today's video is to give you the information to confidently navigate the Customs location in Escape from Tarkov. For those of you interested, I have done a video just like this for Interchange, Reserve, Woods, and Shoreline, which you can find in the playlist in the description and at the end of the video. The cardinal directions are wrong, but until they publicly fix them, I'll keep it simple. If you are standing at the sniper roadblock and looking at the gate, that's north, this in turn making the area around Customs the western half of the map, and the area around the shipping yard the eastern part of the map. All in all, Customs is, in my opinion, the easiest outdoor location to navigate in Escape from Tarkov. There's a 7 to 12 PMC limit, and there is currently a 25 minute raid time limit. It should take you about 5 to 7 minutes to cross the entire map end to end. When it comes to important navigational landmarks, you have the Customs, or aka the Big Red Building, Factory, Substation, and Dorms. For general landmarks, there's Storage, Customs, River, Construction, Dorms, Train Bridge, Shipping Yard East, and West, Old Gas Station, New Gas Station, and Substation. The spawns are split between the east and west edges of the map. There are four main extracts. There's Crossroads and ZB-1011, which should be constant depending on the side of the map that you spawn on. Then there's Smuggler's Boat and Dorm's Vehicle Exit, which are good to keep an eye on, and the Vehicle Exit costs 7,000 rubles to use, along with a four-player limit. The other extracts are Trailer Park, RUAF Roadblock, Old Gas Station, and ZB-1012. Old Gas Station is only open if you see the green smoke, and ZB-1012 is only open if you see the floodlights on. For the sake of brevity, I'll leave the other extracts out because there's a million of them and you'll be able to easily find them once you know your way around the map with this video. Not to mention at least one of the exits I've already mentioned will always be available for you. When it comes to getting lost, just double tap O to see your extractions. If you see Crossroads, Smuggler's Boat, RUAF Gate, or Trailer Park, you will need to move west by keeping the factory to your left. If you see Old Gas Station or either of the ZB-1000 bunkers, you'll need to move east and keep the factory to your right. The paved road will take you wherever you want to go to. When at the dorms, there's a two-story and a three-story building. The two-story is east and the three-story is west. If you do not understand the big picture of this map based off of the info that I just gave, rewatch the beginning of the video. If you spawn around Old Gas Station and Shipping Yard and you don't have a factory key with at least two uses on you, you are basically trapped in a corner with the only exit being this gate here. This is unless you can make a somewhat tricky jump spot onto a porta potty in the northeast corner of the Shipping Yard or the forklift on the other side of the factory shortcut building. Both spawns are somewhat tight, and if you're unlucky or spawn in late, you can find yourself fighting other players within seconds of loading in. If this is something that you struggle with and you need more info, check out my spawns video in the description. You can also jump the barbed wire at the pipe next to the gas station, and also the wall right there if you get up on the rubble. Now the big danger areas for this map would be the dorms along with the woods around it, the river, and the gas station. The scav boss Rishala spawns mostly in the dorms and the gas station, but can also be found east of the gas station around the checkpoint tower. The dorms themselves are jam-packed with loot and quest items, in turn making them one of the hottest locations in Escape from Tarkov. Each of the dorms have one main door, then side doors on fire escapes. All of the south doors can be opened on the three-story dorm, while only the ground floor can be opened for the two-story. For the northern doors, only the second story can be opened for both dorms. You can drop down onto a fence while on the roof of the three-story dorm, but be careful if you're a low level, because you'll probably break something. The three-story western dorm has a marked loot room, locked loot and task rooms, along with tons of loose loot and jackets. The two -story Story Eastern Dorm has several task rooms along with more locked loot rooms. Because Dorms is so popular, you need to be very careful about bumping into other players while moving towards or leaving in the surrounding woods. Some players will hear gunfights and literally just wait for you to leave. The river is dangerous because of the very large, low open areas making them perfect ambush terrain, so be careful when crossing. Personally, I just take the bridge because even though it is open, at least you're on the same level as whatever will be shooting at you. There's also two and sometimes up to four pesky scav snipers that can have very deadly weapons sometimes, so be sure to check out the roof around the construction site, the high up smoke towers, this building in the shipping yard, and the hills behind the rocks at the scav checkpoint. 
Customs is the first map for most players and can be insanely difficult due to the high traffic choke points. Although once you know what you're looking for, the map is extremely easy to navigate. If this video helped you out, please let me know by liking it, commenting, or sharing the video with a friend. I really appreciate the people who do. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe as well. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.